So let's get right to it. I'm gonna use, just start by hitting uh, down the middle with both rackets um, and see just kind of how they feel when I'm trying to add a good amount of spin. And then we're gonna run to, through some drills and you know, just anything that can help us uh, figure out which one adds more spin. So I'm just gonna get right to it, just straight up hit down the middle here with Moosh. Uh, I'm gonna be switching rackets um, throughout the, the hit and just kind of give you what I feel, okay? All right, so just hitting down the middle first with, with the V-Core. Um, let's see how I feel. I'm gonna obviously try to play a little bit differently because I don't play with that much spin. So I'm gonna try to add a little more spin to my shots. Uh, but just through the middle. This is good. This adds good amount of top spin, but still decent amount of plow through. Um, if I wanted to drive the ball a little bit more, I could, but I'm trying to add a good amount of top spin. Uh, this does feel good. Oh, you good? There we go. Just a couple more here with this one, then I'll make the switch. All right. Yeah. All right, now back to the extreme tour. Let's see it. All right. Right from the start, I can tell this one swings a little bit lighter. It definitely swings a bit lighter on the, on the hand. Um, but I do think I'm getting extra rack ahead speed, I think. The Onyx is just a little bit longer, so it makes it a little harder to get the racket around. Yeah, this definitely it's a bit easier to generate top spin, or at least I would say wreck ahead speed. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm hitting a better ball. If anything, I feel like they're landing a little bit shorter, but um, it is easier to, to add top spin with the extreme. I know um, they're similar spec, but um, the extreme feels a little bit more lively, which, you know, depends on who you are. I think that, that will be what you're looking for, right? But, man, I think if you're, if you're looking for, for a lot of spin, um, this one will definitely it'll be a little bit easier to do it. One more. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the better racket, sorry, but, I'm getting, I'm definitely getting more rotation out of this, this racket. I think Dayonyx, it's a kind of a, a good mix between spin and, and power and, and kind of plow through where this one is like, you know, it's a little bit harder to just play flat. If you're just kind of want to guide the ball like this, you know, like that, like kind of how I play. But man, if you accelerate, if you set up well, Sorry, feels really good for, for spin. So that was just kind of like the first look. Uh, and now we're gonna run through a few, through a few drills. Uh, I wanna kind of see the stats here on my Apple Watch, but I wanna run through a few drills and, and see which one is the spin king. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna hit 10 forehands cross court and 10 forehands inside out going max swing. Just going all out and trying to add a ton of spin to the shot. It won't be necessarily too flat. Um, and I'm gonna hit 10 on each, and I'm gonna record it with my Apple Watch uh, to try to track uh, swing speeds, all that stuff. So uh, I don't know how well, uh, I just found out this app, Swing Vision. I don't know how well it tracks, but 
it will give us a little bit of a baseline. So I'm going to do 10 with the, with, the, with the extreme and 10 with the Yonix, just going max out and just to see what happens. Okay, so uh, let's just get right to it. All right, so 10 here and then 10 there. Yeah, I'm just going to go cross here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Okay, good. Now I'm gonna switch to the Onyx, do the same thing. One, two, No, one more. All right, all right, so that was it. I'm gonna check out the stats, talk a little bit more about it uh, later in the video. But yeah, as you can see, I think I was getting more spin with that rack, a little more depth with this one. Um, but definitely, I think this extreme gives me more spin, but I also have to swing much harder for it. So depends on what you're feeling, but these are definitely two rackets that are very good for spin, but they're different in the way you get get spin with them so got to keep that in mind okay so this is what we're going to do now he's going to hand feed me a defensive shot and then a shorter shot um more offensive and i'm going to try to get as much racket head speed as i can on both rackets 10 balls i'm again going to record it on my apple watch see what the stats say again take it with a grain of salt salt but we'll try it um, but i think this is a good combo to see i'm, I'm hitting more forehands because that's kind of the baseline for racket head speed and spin but i think this is a good way to to figure this out so 10 balls each racket and we'll see how it goes Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, let's do 10. Oh. Let's do All right, again, kind of the same. This one feels a little more plow through, has been a little more plow through, plow through than that one. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired. Um, but that one definitely has more spin. Again, it's a little more powerful. So again, kind of depends on what you want, but there's kind of a theme here. More power, there's a little bit of um, uh, more top spin. Oh, more power. Uh, a little bit less top top spin, but I'm getting more depth. That one really gets a lot of action. So uh, if you set up well, and I think if you customize it well, it might be the better wreck. But again, it's all personal preference, but we'll talk about it more in a second. All right, so final thoughts on each racket. Obviously in this video, we focus solely on 
generating top spin with both rackets. That, that was my focus to see which one would perform better that way. Um, and from my testing, from my time on the court, uh, I definitely felt like the Extreme Tour, um, it gives, gives me easier access to top spin. Doesn't necessarily mean it's the better racket, uh, but I just felt like the Extreme Tour uh, swung through the air a little bit lighter, uh, which kind of translated into more top spin. That being said, um, it's you have to kind of know who you are as a tennis player. So even though I think the Extreme Tour gives me more top spin, um, for my style of, of, of game, the V Core 98 would be actually the better choice. If I was looking into something that would add a little more top spin, but I would still be able to play the way I play, the V Core 98 would be the racket because it gives me a little bit more plow through um, in shots that come that I'm you know, not well as well set up with my feet, that I need the racket to just kind of help me a little bit. Um, I think that's a better racket. With the Extreme Tour, I just always feel like I need to swing out. Like I can't just rely on the racket to to just help me with the swing, to, with the rack head speed and just the mass to send the ball back. I really need to swing swing out every time. So I'll, I think I would need to add some weight to, that, to the Extreme Tour. Uh, where with the V core, even in stock version, I could, I would still add weight, but I could put, I could play the way it is uh, and still like, you know, with my back and drive the ball a little bit more and then just add a little bit more rotation to my shots. So if you're looking for top spin, uh, first you gotta ask yourself, well, what kind of player am I? Do I need, do I have a lot of rack head speed? Uh, is, is my wrist very loose through the shot? Uh, maybe you have like a more Western grip. I think those types of players um, will benefit more from the extreme. Even if you have to customize the racket, I think extreme tour will be the perfect racket for. I mean, just look at Berrettini. That's that's the type of player that plays with the extreme right guy that sets up a lot, has a ton of action uh, with his wrist. Of the racket head speed is tremendous. Even on the serve, you see like his racket's just just it's so quick uh, through the shot that I think the extreme really rewards players like that, where the the V core, it's kind of like an in between where, you know, if you are a player who likes driving the ball a little bit more, but is looking to get a few extra rotation uh, on the shot, on your on your ball, I think the extreme tour, uh, the V core tour is actually the better choice. And for me, it would be the better choice for my style of game. I'm not the guy that like has, uh, my hands aren't that, that loose through the shot. I actually push the ball a little bit more. I drive it more with my, with my chest. Um, instead of using too much of like my wrist. So the V-Core does help me just add a little bit more rotation um, without sacrificing like the way I play, where to play with the extreme, I would feel like I need to change my game a little bit more, just swing a little bit faster um, and not chest the ball as much. So so you, gotta, you just gotta keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, both rackets did the job. They're, they're, we're supposed to do in terms of adding more top spin to my shot. I think both of them, with my with my racket, with the speed, I don't get as much top spin as as both rackets. So you know, I definitely added more rotation to my shots. But overall, um, if I have to pick a winner to which one gives more spin, um, it would go to the extreme tour. Um, but how you access that spin is definitely much different. Uh, from the extreme to the V core, so you got to keep that in mind. Uh, again, they're both terrific rackets. I, I really, I haven't, you know, not a lot of complaints uh, on on either one of them. Um, I'm gonna do a more thorough review on both of them, um, all of, you know, all over the court, not just testing for top spin, but for this testing, they both perform terrifically. Um, but I think the extreme tour get has a little bit of an edge when it comes to generating top spin. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this was helpful. If you're looking to buy uh, an Extreme Tour or a V Core 98 or any other racket, uh, we'll have links below to it. So go check it out. And if you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe. Um, you know, it really helps the channel. Uh, follow us on social media at MyTennisHQ on Instagram and at MyTennisHQ underscore on Twitter. And visit MyTennisHQ.com. Ton of new articles that articles there for you guys. And let us know in the comments below what would you like to see from for for our next racket reviews. Uh, we'll try to address those in the in the upcoming videos. 
uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.